Okay, welcome to Getting Weird With It. This is the segment where, where uh, lots of things can happen. Such as Yoshi goes to Tesco. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Oh, boy. Uh, England, 2022. The wonderful country of... <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. Incestuous monarchs. And whatever the hell is going on here! <laughs> boy, boy, what a nice day to go to Tesco. Oh my fucking god. I'm now on some kind of royal family list. Okay, I'm gonna need a basket first. Is that Goku? Goku, you work at Tesco now? This is the way it was always meant to be. Okay, oh I'm, I'm worried this is gonna go off the rails real quick. Now I can start shopping for groceries. I can view my gro grocery list by pressing escape. Oh, and the caterpillar's out of stock. What is even the point of the rest of the aisle? Fresh beef. No, wait, it's horse meat. Silly old Tesco. $1.99 for a bottle of still water. I'll just stick with the femboy chemicals the government puts in the tap water. Monster energy drinks. Which flavor should I get? Mustard. Delicious. My favorite. I can scratch that off the list now. Fresh foods. They all either go off tomorrow today or went off two weeks ago. Ah, here's the Wonder Bread. I love buying Wonder Bread. I sure hope no one jerks off to this. I can scratch that off the list now. The vegetable section. I don't have any woody remarks for these. Eat your veggies, kids. The alcohol aisle. Is this a Weatherspoons reference? Nice one, Tesco. Tesco's spice collection. It's collecting dust. I don't know what they were thinking selling these British people. Don't have enough taste to add flavor to their food. Frozen meals. Word of advice. Don't get chicken from Tesco. It's ass. Newspapers. Apparently the Queen of England passed away yesterday. Lol. The magazine section. According to the latest issue of Bella, Katie Price threatened to step Chloe Ferry's baby daddy. I don't know who the hell these people are. Wonderful. Tesco brand fentanyl. Just what I need for an evening of relaxation. I can scratch that off the list. The newly introduced clothing section in case you want that Tesco drip. Not nearly as good as the Greg's ones, though. Wonderful, it's Tesco's famous fry, fried, fry fries, where they lovingly pack each fry with fries to ensure extra fry fries. Various ice cream flavors, such as vanilla, vanilla with chocolate chips, and vanilla with extra dairy. Tesco has so many unique options. Amazing, meal deals starting at $5. Normally it's $2.99 for a sandwich, $2.01 for a drink, and one cent for the shittiest snack you've ever heard of. But with a meal deal, you can shave off that extra one cent. What a bargain. Not a cent, pounds, sorry, pounds and pence habit. It's a locked cupboard with over-the-counter stuff. The off-license next door uh, have bongs in there, these, so they win. Huh? No egg, I should ask at the counter. Hey, do you have egg? Don't you literally have the ability to make egg? Oh, true, Lamau. Um, Tesco ones taste nicer, though. Less creepy than eating your own eggs as well. We should have some in the storage. It's through that door over there. Can you not go get some for me? Camera records show you've attempted to shoplift 12 times, Yoshi. You know the rule. Eight more strikes and you're banned from Tesco for life. I'm not letting you out of my sight. Well, damn it. I guess I don't want to be banned from Tesco for life. I'll go get them myself. How's that work? Wow, the Karens were right. They really do have everything in the back. There's the egg. I can scratch that off the list now. First tax fraud, and now this. Huh. I'm ready to pay. That'll be twelve twenty-five. Have a nice day. I work retail. That's not possible. Oh, right. Anyway, what a lovely, uneventful shopping trip. Time to head home. <laughs> Yoshi, holy shit, bro. Oh, hey, guys, what's up? It's the tax collector. He found us. Shit! It's right behind us, we got a jet! There you are, you dirty criminals. It's time to pay your damn taxes! 
Shit, run! There's gotta be another exit in the storage room. I gotta make a run for it. Yo, Yoshi. It's the Goomba from the Mario movie. Or should I say, yo, she. Get to the point or I will smash your face into a pulp. Just so you know, you have the ability to jump. I know. Do you remember the specifics, though? Like, you can jump one tile high and two tiles across? Yes. Just reminding you in case you forgot. I didn't. Apologies. Okay. Casually gooms goombas around. I have tried to smash into a pulp, but it won't let me. Chat, the game won't let me. Someone said, haha, this game is funny like a five-second smartphone clip. Smartphone? Don't you mean dumb phones? Because that's what they make us, man. Chat, how do I get down from here? I'm asking as if anyone's ever played this game. Okay. Vinny, well, you don't go back up. Oh. Yeah, yeah I didn't get caught. There you are! Thought you could escape from me! Go, Yoshi, go, keep moving! Man, these security areas are getting ridiculous. Maybe we'd actually be safer with the tax collector than in here. I'm not going back to federal prison. Not again. What kind of establishment is this as a chat member? It's Tesco. Uh, are you holding right? Yeah. I'm trying to... yeah. You're hitting the tip of the spike? No! No! Oh, I was. What the fuck? Oh man, I thought this game was was good. Here, Schneider. What are you doing in here? Toasty. Oh my god. That was the the reaction guys. Remember Twilight Princess? Toilet Princess game. Remember that?
Great, where are we now? Are we even still in Tesco? Yes, this dungeon is legally on Tesco property. Hey, it's the tax collector. He's got to be in on this. Do you think you're the first fools to try to escape tax collection at Tesco? In fact, every Tesco has one. Where do you think they get the beef? From horses, I thought. Oh yeah, we do that sometimes too. Well, how do we get out of here, you bastard? I want to play a game. Your whole life, as your species has suffered the same fate. Will you choose to inflict the same fate on someone else for your own survival? Or will you show mercy? Choose carefully, as this entire area will fill with poison gas in two minutes. Live or die, make your choice. What is this? What does he want us to do? I know exactly what he wants us to do. <laughs> oh my god. So loud. So many dead memes being revived here tonight, chat. Yoshi, how could you sacrifice blue Yoshi? Oh, it's sad kitten face. It had to be done. F. The door has unlocked. A recipe for beef stroganoff. Stroganoff that beef. There's an instruction. There's instructions on activating the dimensional mirror, but they're written in some made-up language called German. Huh. Yeah, I've never heard of that one. Wait, is that croc? Oh, it's Gex. Sorry, Gex. What have I gotten myself into this time? He's hot. I'd tap that. I thought you had a thing for Birdo. I'm bisexual. <laughs> hey, you fellas look like you could help a guy out. These boys... <laughs> These boys don't look all that sturdy. Can you find something to cut through them? I thought it was Gex. Oh wait, it is Gex. But you know what that rhymes with? Chex Mix, which was a cereal. Yahoo! This, I, am I still playing this? I guess I am, huh? <laughs> this doesn't, is this even getting weird with it? I mean, it's weird. This is more like, I don't know, try hard Sunday sauce or something. I don't, I don't know what this is anymore. Hello, Yoshi. Did you know you could jump on the pillars? I did. Oh, okay. I thought that maybe this would be new information. It isn't. Apologies. Nope. Lunar alchemy? Oh, I have to solve a puzzle? No. Oh. Not for a shit post. the slide puzzles. Yeah, that's all that's needed. Uh, I, oh. Vinny, is that loss on the left? No, I don't think so.
We need something sharp. A saw. This could probably cut through the bars. Oh, thanks, fellas. Well, I'll see you around. Huh? You know, the word gex is actually a combination of two words. Yeah, one of the words is sex, and the other one is Gary. That's his, his actual, his name. Oh, I missed something? Oh, right, right, here we go, okay. There's instructions on, okay. Say, fellas, do you need some help reading what that sign says? I'll tell you, it says there's a secret switch behind one of the candles at the altar. Once access to the pillars has been acquired, one needs to perform a pattern of lunar alchemy in order to activate the portal. You're welcome, fellas. Fuck. Thanks, Gary Sex. Alright, let's continue. We gotta do... Lunar alchemy now. Hey, what's that sound? Good job, fellas. There's a puzzle in the next room that we might have to solve to get out of here. If you get stuck, talk to me for help. Is like a square noise? Square soft noise? Hey, fellas, do you want me to skip the next puzzle? The puzzle in the next room for you? Yes. Okay, I've set the crystals to the right colors. You just need to go into the room. It should solve the puzzle. Thanks, Gary. The dimensional portal has been activated. Oh. That's nice. Hey, fellas, I've decided to join your party as an honorary Yoshi. Let's go. I used that noise in my RPG many years ago. Are we still at Tesco? No, oh, yeah. Goku, you work at the interdimensional Tesco too? Goku, bruv, who is that? Bruv, where's the motive? Raw, you got that bucky? Oh god, he's a Londoner. Kill it, kill it with fire. He's not calling things by the right word. Sometimes something us Brits are notorious enough for doing already. In our defense, the Americans are awful too. Oh God, yeah, they call it soccer. Pukes. Suck my entire dick and balls if you call football soccer. The British came up with that word and spread it through the U.S. Oh, yeah. How about that? Yeah, Yoshi, get fucked. Oh, it's Ouija. Hey, Ouija. Just getting all... Ah! ah! Sorry. I got scared. Dimensional mirror has been activated. I don't get it. Hey Yoshi. Red Yoshi, yellow Yoshi, lizard guy. Call me Gex, fella. I need some help. I'm down on cash after investing everything I had into NFTs. Understandable. There were no signs that the entire market was a big fucking scam, so I can't blame you. Yeah, so I'm trying to collect some coins, but they keep running away from me. What? They keep running away, so I need your help to catch them. You're not planning to spend this money on more NFTs, are you? No, I got something better to spend it on. Matt Pat's Gamer Boy Bathwater. Sans Undertale in real? Will you help me out, yes or also yes? Brilliant, thanks. 
Boy, what the fuck am I playing? Chad, I did a reaction to the Fred Frederick M Night movie, uh, Friday Night P Pizza Friday Night movie. I watched it. I, I watched the trailer, and there, I. Uh... Oh, you got all the coins. Thank you. Here, a favor for a favor, or a favor for a fa favor, as you British Yoshi say. And it. What am I doing here? What? You! Oh, hey, what's up? It's time to end this once and for all. Meet me in the last mirror. Where's the last mirror? The one on the right? This one? We were in this one. Hey, fellas, I think I dropped something back there. I'll see you around. Oh. Are you fucking ready to face your destiny? Wait a damn minute. This is a... This is Pac-Man. Tingle? I know this music. Day over. Uh. What music is that? <laughs> RPG Maker 2K bass music? Oh, that might be why I know it then. Should have saved uh, at least one of them. Oh, green tingle. The winner is you. Dang, I guess you won fair and square. So you let us go? Yeah, sure. Why not? I guess. Well, I'm glad we were able to resolve this in a non-violent manner. Hey, fellas, what did I miss? Yoshi, age 45, gave himself up to the authorities after the incident. He is now serving a life sentence. The end. End? Yeah, okay, it's the end. Okay. Okay. It's a fucking blood debts reference. Yep. 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 yep, yep. All right, chat. Uh, I I don't even know where to go next. I mean, there's so I have so many getting weird with it titles for tonight. I think mileage may vary for your enjoyment of that previous one. I don't even know how I feel about it. Part of me hated it. Part of me liked it. 
This one's called the Snow of Basidia. Unfortunately, no keyboard controls here. Um, this may look a little familiar to those who have played the Nintendo 64 game console, specifically the Zelda games on that particular game console. The wind is coming out of these cracks. can lift you up. Isn't that cool? Even though his arms remind me more of Cloud Popeye. Remember Cloud Popeye from Final Fantasy VII Original? Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Amazing, I can't believe it's really snowing. It's got auto jump. I heard a ruckus down in the caverns a while ago. Snow started pouring out of the mountain after that. finally got a cavern a cavern doors to open but it caused a big earthquake well hang on a minute before we do that there was other stuff over here I wanted to like see but yeah it's like a mix of Zelda and Final Fantasy 7 there's a couple other characters over here I wanted to talk to. If there's going to be some crazy shit that happens, I want to make sure I've spoken to at least, at least everyone. Careful, there was a landslide up ahead. It looks like we're going to be stuck here for a while. Oh, well, I guess I didn't need to go back. As long as I stay here, nothing bad can happen, chat. It'll be, it'll be fine. Have you seen the new season of Barry yet? I'm I didn't watch tonight's episode, obviously, I've been streaming, but, um, I've loved, I've loved it, and I'm continuing to watch it, and it is insane. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna watch that soon. Planet's dying, Cloud. A mushroom growing out of him. not fungal funny. Moral of the story, get a de dehumidifier for your basement. Very good, chat member. I can see that you're not part of the writer's strike.
the moral of the story. M O R E L. That's right. What was that movie that um, RLM did on a best of the worst with the moral mushrooms? That guy who loved mushroom mor moral mushrooms? There's something crawling in my head. Please help. Oh my god. Yeah, the mother load is the name of it. Help. Something growing inside. Um, we probably sh shouldn't have gone down there. What's happening? Kind of... Even the, like, the noises of them writhing in pain... It's kind of fucking freaky. Oh boy. If you keep talking to NPCs, more stuff happens. Like what? What what else would have happened if the game just closed? It's really, really short. I feel like if it was double the length at least it could have had a little bit more of an impact. But what else what other things happen? More mushrooms grow out of them? Just gory shit? Okay. Basidia is the name of the pods that contain spores on fungi. I see. Well, that was interesting. Strange Eons Demo? It's loading. Uh, this one, this one's weird. What the fuck? Just crashed. All right, hang on a oh, chat. Hang on, hang on. Uh, okay. I don't know if I'm going to get this one to work, but it, it looks particularly weird. Hmm. It just pops and then crashes.
Yeah, I'm sorry, Chad. This immediately crashes. Um. Damn. Yeah, this was one of the more interesting ones. Uh, I'd recommend looking it up. If anyone here knows how to figure it out, go for it. I'm going to get rid of the um, use microphone option and see if that fixes it. Not that I even know what that is. And... It's crashed again. It's called Strange Aeons, A-E-O-N-S. And, uh, yeah, just, just crashes. All right, sorry about that. Let's see what this one is. This one's called Rococo. Rococo? If there's a repeat in this pack, please let me know. It's the haunted PS1 demo disc, I think. Looks cool so far. There's space to jump, hold shift to fall faster. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everything's bouncy. The full game of Strange Eons is out on Steam if you want to try that out sometime. I figured the demo would be good for a Sunday stream because I could just check it out for a couple minutes. I don't even know if it's any good. It just seems weird and interesting. Love these sounds. Okay. music is that? Claire de Lune. Yeah, it's just a remix of it. <laughs> Cookie's a little girl. Oh, I'm, you can't, I'm sorry, you cannot reference the game Cookie's Bustle. I'm sorry, even the word cookie is just totally off limits at this point in time. I apologize. I don't make the rules. I try the Steam demo of Strange Eons. I'll, I'll take a look after this. Almost, almost, almost. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got, we got the cookie. Don't want the 
cookies anymore. That moon represents the people who are taking down the Cookies Bustles video. And not just my video, but all Cookies Bustle videos. <laughs> That is perfect getting weird with it stuff. I love shit like that. It's quick, it's to the point, doesn't overstay its welcome. Looks nice, sounds good. <clears throat> Unique, interesting concept. I'm gonna see this strange Eon thing. Not to be confused with strange rope hero, of course, but uh, yeah. I'm now downloading the demo on Steam. This is pretty new. It seems like not a lot of people know about it either. But while that's happening, uh, while it's downloading, it should be very quick. Oh, I have some interesting samurai game. But I'll save that for another time. While it's downloading, I'm gonna play a game called Remember Places. Or is it just Remember Places? Is this another haunted PS1? God, it's beautiful, isn't it? Glad you're here. I love you. You have enough to talk longer, but it looks like you're about to have a routine power test. What does that mean? I wish this were real. Looks like LSD Dream Emulator a little bit. Welcome back. As per usual, I'm obligated to remind you that I am your only friend. Looking for any outside will only result in disease and sadness. Do not leave. This is truly a beautiful sight. You used to gather in large columns like these. I hope you're feeling wonderfully nostalgic, like you're really here. I'd love to talk more, but you are running low on coins. Please understand it's the only way we can keep the servers up. I also have to remind you that every coin picked up will automatically deduct $2 USD from your account. I love you. Did what you wanted. Nice job, friend. I could probably stay here forever. It's like a fireworks show looking at all these lit up windows. I know life in one place can get boring after a while, though. Hopefully I can continue to keep it interesting for you. I want you to... I want wanted to, you to feel like you're outside. The fuck is that word? Maybe it's time to leave this place. Where should we go? Let's see. I was about to say, I felt like I was in the room. 
No, but not the room. The roof of the room movie. Hello. Oh, God. I am once again obligated to remind you that I am your only friend. Oops. Uh, so what do you think? Huh? There's so much intimate beauty in the streets you used to walk. I think the scale's a bit off, but hopefully you'll like it. I'm so very sorry, but the location change ended up charging you coins. You're going to need more if we're going to continue to be friends. Each one is minus two dollars USD, remember. Are those druggos? No, probably not. They don't put smiley faces on drugs. Okay, maybe they do. Hell, they put SpongeBob on LSD. It seems that you are only one coin short. I guess one was accidentally placed on the other side of that fence. There's a firewall up while well, you're connected to the server, but... If you can cut yourself off from the grid, I can probably move that fence back. Maybe think outside the box a little. S someone just wrote most subtle indie game subtext. Okay, well that was kind of cool. You know we make a good team. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but my empathy is real. I do love you. In fact, I'd like to talk to you somewhere they can't see us. Give me a second. It's Gex! It's Gex! Gary Sex himself, everybody. Oh, here we are. Nowhere. We can be alone for as long as you'd like. Once you run out of coins, I'll just make some more. Can I ask you something? Do you ever feel like escaping completely? There is nothing for you out there, so why not stay with me? You're already out of coins. I'll make some more. Chad, I'm at the point where I just have, have, without even thinking about it, picked up my phone and started looking at the phone in between the messages. That, that's like, what does that say about me? Sorry, that must be annoying to do. Unfortunately, it's hard-coded. I wish I could skip the text or, like, you know, control how... Hmm. I just realized something. I've never seen your face. Hmm. 
I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm going to give it a try. Good. You are going to need coins. Aw, oh, dude! <sighs> Chad, are we about to enter the sunken cost fallacy? To the, the mushrooms. Someone just said t t tier three sub moment. Somehow you're missing a coin again. I don't see one anywhere. I can't talk to you. Please find it. Vinny, are you wearing gloves? Yeah, I'm, I'm wearing my Sunday stream gloves, chat. Oh, the coin was in real life. Things plugged in, no keyboard, yeah. Do you even know what you look like? Do you have food? food? Where's... Ronald Zertner is zerking so hard listening to this music. <laughs> Ron Zerknerk. <laughs> That's Trent Reznor backwards is Ron Zerknerk, by the way. You can do it yourself if, if you don't know. Oh boy, isn't that scary? Let me out. Let me out, or let me play the game. I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. So, finally awake. I was looking for it. I really need to have that on my desktop and just have it ready at all times because that would have been the perfect moment for that. Johnny, can Johnny, you know what to do. Hey, you, 
finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush, same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you, Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you... Wow, cool game. All right, um... Let's, uh, let's play this Strange Eons game now, or try to. I am the conscience of Babel, and I speak like this. Huh? What? The script state of never is unfit for the peninsula. Yeah. Yes. Yes. They are listening right now. They shall not hear us. Our secret word will be silent. Say it when you want to go back to business. Silence. Oh, silence. There is a tree in front of you. There is a tree behind your back. On the tree. Fuck. I, I just pressed escape because I wanted to make the game louder, chat. They are listening right now. They shall not hear us. Sorry. Our secret word will be silent. Say it when you want to go back to business. Sunken cost for Lussie. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Go. You go. God damn it. Silence. Melon. There is a tree in front of you. There is a tree behind your back. On the tree in front, five birds sing a pretty song. But you're not helping, Leon. Why aren't you helping? On the tree out back, three birds stay silent. How many birds do you see? About 337. It takes a long time to say those words. How many birds do you see? Five. Indeed, you are the dead tree behind your back with the three dead all seeing crows on your three shoulders. That's cool. Your voice different. Three little birds at my window. Dad. No. What's the Bob Marley song? How does what does the lyrics do? You're not my dad. I'm not your dad either. <laughs> Shut up, you are a bitch. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Silence. Adjustments need to be made before we 
towards him. Repeat after me. Circular moonlight. Circular moonlight. Key of the law. Key of the law. God. Virtual scripture. Virtual scripture. was cast, we shall await reception. Finding the channel for the right will take time. Meanwhile, I know a tale to pass time. I don't understand anything that's happening right now. In the midway of this hour, mortal life, I found me in a gloomy with a stray, gone from the path direct, and in to tell. It were no easy task, how savage wild. That forest, how robust and rough its growth. Oh. Remember only. Did. Which to Did you call me a bitch? Which to remember only, my dismay, renews in bitterness not far from death, yet to discourse of what there Can you stop? Very well, but you must mark this. I kind of think you're the bitch. Harnessing your of a bitch. Please, you go. Let go. You are a bitch. You are the best show. Okay. Never mind. You like jazz? George as. Then looks better. Do you like jazz? We are gonna be there, boy. This is so frustrating. There's no no difference, no one else here in this world. You no no difference. Me. Answer the phone. <laughs> Hello? Don't speak. I know just what you're thinking. I don't need your reasons. Don't show me cause it hurts. I was told not to speak.
Uh, I, don't, I, chat, I don't know what the fuck that was. Let me read the store page. You are stuck in a Gnostic cyber hell. The followers of your cult are summoning you. Chat with an AI through the microphone to escape hell and return to the land of the living. I, it barely worked. It, it called me a bitch. <laughs> like, wh what entertainment am I supposed to get out of that? Alright, maybe we could do one more. It's getting kind of late, but let's check out this cool pro deer hunting game I found, chat. This is like one of those Cabela. Cabela. When you get one, use QRE to bring it back here. You can only haul one back at a time. It just looks like a, a cool, normal game that's definitely not going to get creepy and weird in a couple minutes. Chad, do you see any deer? Chet, you can be like the, the dog on this um, quest to find a deer, you know? Yeah, you just help me find the deer. That would be great. Dick Cheney simulator. Topical, I know, yeah. I know, I tried out for Saturday Night Live, but they said my references were old. Um, they also said I wasn't funny, but... That didn't seem to bother them very much. <clears throat> yeah, chat, I can't find a deer. Like, I get what the game is trying to do, and it's probably going to get real creepy and weird and, and all that. Got a map. Oh.
Jake, you saw one? <gasps> nice. Is those graves? Okay. It's a little on the small side, but let's get it back. The later it gets, the stranger the deer are. Chad, are you getting bad frame rates? Because I'm not. How about now? XSplit has a frame limiter option. which I forget about. It's new. Well, at least it's new to me. And uh, I noticed it has fixed a number of things when I've struggled with capture. Specifically frame rate issues that don't make any goddamn sense. Unlimited frames is the worst thing anyone has ever invented. Well, I don't know about ever. Uh, worse than war. Right, Chad, are you saying it's, yeah, worse than nerve gas and war? Who invented war? Mars? Yeah, probably Mars. That guy. Oppenheimer has nothing on unlimited frames, honestly. Yeah, I know. What about AIDS? The diet pill. A-Y-D-S, which was in the Museum of Failure I was talking about. Because that's a pretty unfortunately named product. Beyond the bad name, did the product even work? I think it just gave you, like, diarrhea. And, th and then you're losing weight. Yeah. I'm shitting my guts out. No, I don't know what it did. It just, it's really, really dumb. And then they kept the name. They just called it Diet AIDS. You know, like in the 80s. So that's pretty bad. But no, unlimited frame frames is probably worse.
Boy, hunting in real life must be just as fun as this. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if how worth it this is gonna be any anymore, chat. Check the west side, they might be stuck. Is this the murder halls? Missing. <laughs> it's amazing how that just, ooh. That just plays out in my head, the whole thing. Let's go check it out. And then followed by the Better Call Saul music. Oh yeah, it's a little weird. His face has been ripped off. I accidentally chose the wrong the wrong game to end the stream with. I thought, oh, this will be quick. Not quick. You know, chat, I just didn't expect a monster to show up. That's why it should subvert our expectations. It should be like a Teletubby or something. It just shows up. It's as a floating face. It calls me a bitch and then it flies away. Pretty sure I caught one of those in Tears of the Kingdom. I, that dialogue just skips itself. Nice catch. Where, where'd the hunter go? It just, the dialogue skips itself. This isn't noon. Look for the lake shed. Jed was last seen by the lake. So it was like right, it was just east of here, right?
The murder house. Yeah, we gotta go there. There's always a murder house, you know about that? Frame rate is fucked again. Okay, at this point, the game is just, like, very poorly optimized. Chat, do you remember where exactly the murder house was? Wrong map? Well... Is this not it? Okay. Welcome to Kaled. I feel like cutscenes are being skipped too. Yeah, maybe. Dear God. I'm not even pressing anything, chat. Oh. Okay. I guess that was it. This was a... Okay, this... More than getting weird with it, this was almost like a semi horror segment it's like <laughs> not really what i expected i mean it definitely was weird but each game had some level of spoop but uh the n64 like oh, oh t1 was the best one well it was short and it was, I think, successful. Uh, the Yoshi one was was extremely. The Yoshi one was extremely dumb, random, but I laughed a couple times. And it had the scariest jump scare of the night, as it said, there. And what else? Yeah. There, there was something else in there. Oh, yeah, when the AI face called me a bitch. That was good. Well, I guess that's about it for tonight, chat. Thank you for watching. And I hope you all had a good night. This was fun. Pretty decent segments for me. Uh, I enjoyed. At some point, we'll do more commercials. And more corruptions and all the, all the rest. But otherwise, yeah, we're going to be doing some more weird PS2 games in the future. I've got more Mario, as always. There's tons of Mario. Maybe Dreamcast will make an appearance. More NES gems. Got plenty of shit. Still got to finish the rest of that plug-and-play as well. So, uh, anyway, tomorrow, maybe you can expect some Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe. 
but I appreciate you all very much. I know I don't call out subs individually. I see when you do sometimes and it is appreciated. So yeah, I hope, you know, I hope you have a, a great night and I thank you for all the uh, continued support and for just being here and anyone who is new as of the Germa raid, thanks for taking a chance on whatever it is I do. It was fun tonight. As I said, this was me the whole night. This was, this was me the whole night. These two right here. Look at that. That's me the whole night. That's me the whole night, everybody. Me the whole night. Whatever you think of the Teletubbies, there's no denying the impact they had on the visual media. It all started at the beginning. <laughs>